Hi family, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Guys, welcome to another exciting installment of Life is But a Dream with the Max. We're so excited to be here. My name is Laraldo Macheta. And I'm Petola Macheta. We'd like to thank the Hilton Hotel for hosting us uh, this Durban, evening in Durban. Yeah. Thank you so much for making us stay here extremely comfortable. We thank you. We love you. It is beautiful here. It's nice. love it. Love it. Love it. Love what more no, say? <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, guys. Guys, today it is story time. It's actually our first story time, right? It is, it is. Today it's we, a big one. It is a big one. Yeah. Today we want to talk about how we really met. Like yeah. how we really, really met. We've alluded to it like here <laughs> and there, you know, but today we're gonna give you the lowdown yeah. of like yeah. what really happened, like play for play. Yeah. I'm hoping that Moef and I are gonna be agreed on what actually happened, but <laughs> you never know. But we don't have to agree. That's right? true. Because this is this is our your truth. point of view. Your truth, my right. truth. We don't have to agree. So let's get into this. Let's one. get into it. All right. Yes. It was the summer of 2008. She said, I would the cook and let her with the date. Now raise it last 10 years of matrimonial cake. We celebrate. Now we're stronger together. Never better. Go getters, trendsetters, Black Panthers, the anthem. We the max and we only getting better. Hey. So guys, um, <laughs> what's, <this>? what's up? <laughs> we actually, for me personally, I don't want to, I don't think I can start this story uh, without letting you in on where I was when I met Lerat, brothers. when I met brothers over here. Yeah. So when I met my husband, you know, I had been, you know, the, I had been in a relationship for three years and um you know it was a very challenging relationship it was very toxic and um, that relationship really drained me you know and i, I was quite young mm -hmm. um well i wasn't really young mm -hmm. babe how old was i if it was three years it would have been from i was 20 19. no it depends how long you had broken up with him no because remember 2019 like, no i'm saying 1920 19 okay i'm saying ages oh yes yes yes, yes. Yeah. so um because when i met you i was 24. yeah right so i had been dating this person for about three years from the age of mm. 21. and um when i met um Lerato, i remember I was a new Christian, you know, I had just been saved. And you were you know? on fire for no, Jesus. No, like, I was, yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. I remember, you I know, remember. tongue spitting, yeah. you know. No, when my wife spoke, demons trembled. <laughs> listen, they <laughs> yeah. still do, they yeah, still yeah, yeah. do. For sure. And um, I was in a place where I was ready to meet someone, you know, I wasn't looking but i remember i said to god that you know what after this breakup the next person that i'm going to be with has to be my husband i'm not interested in dating i'm not interested in meeting you know people and dealing with people's Potential dramas suitors. yeah and i was prepared yeah. to be single for as long as it took until mm. i met the right person mm. yeah and so um my wife being a new christian she mm. is uh searching for a home yes. in a church right remember Chloe? yes so Shout we happen to have so we happen to have a mutual friend <laughs> yeah who then puts her on to grace bible church mm -hmm. which is the church that i had i i had grown up in yeah and i happen to still be serving in in the sunning hill branch mm -hmm. so um so my wife then shows up at the church that i'm playing at yeah right yeah but this is your story to tell because obviously <laughs> I wasn't aware of what was happening. So you you can carry on. So um, as much as I was a, I was a new Christian, I didn't have a, a, a place that I called home. I didn't have a church. Mm. I hadn't really been exposed to to church. Do you mm. know what I mean? Um, so I went to this church. It was called grace bible church it's still it's it, grace will always be home to us mm -hmm. so i get to grace bible church uh, we were in sunning hill at the time yes and um 
when the worship team came on guys this was my first time at this church i saw this man you know i saw this guy all right and 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 guys i was not looking i was not looking i was there to to praise and to worship and i see this man in the worship team and funny thing is i didn't get excited you know but something in my spirit clicked and i knew god and I, I can i can say that the holy spirit told me that that is your husband i didn't know his name i didn't know where he was from i didn't know whether he was seeing someone but i just knew that that's the one so fast forward a couple of months later um how many months is a little bit contentious yeah. but fast forward a couple of months later we're talking about excuse me we're talking about um october yeah 2018 uh a lady no, sorry baby before that okay sorry no it's all cool. quiet <laughs> sorry so i remember when i left church that day i called my sister mm. i called my sister i said listen i saw my husband today and my sister was like so come on you're so like come on on that guy I'm like, listen, I don't know who he is. I don't know his name, but it was just confirmed in my spirit that that is the man that I was going to marry. And I remember telling, I can't leave Jalana out of the story. Yeah. Um, one of my, my friends. And I remember telling her, I was like, listen, guys, I told everyone, understand that, you know, I told everyone that, you know, after that day, guys, I met my husband. You I know? saw my husband. I, I saw my it, husband, yeah, yeah. rather. I saw my husband. And I remember Tlana was like, yeah, friend, everyone thinks that the guy in the worship team is their husband. <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably looked a bit psycho, no? Well, I don't know. Remember, we hadn't met. We hadn't met. So, you I know, mean, to your met. friends, we they might have been like, and I remember, I'm not sure. And I know. remember saying to God, I'm like, you know, Lord, I hear what you're saying, but... I'm not ready to get married. So why are you showing me this guy right now? Yeah. You know, as much as, you know, I was ready emotionally, mm. but I wasn't physically ready mm. for the act of marriage. You know, mm. I remember saying to God, Lord, I'm having so much time in your presence, you know, just getting to know you. So two years from now, I know that you know definitely we can we can definitely get married mm. but for now um why are you revealing this guy to me now that's interesting because two years later we did get married yeah anyway yeah so uh my backstory is i was um serving in the church mm. uh i play keys so um you know every now and then i'd also lead praise and worship mm. uh, at grace bible church i was definitely dating Mm. and um, not looking for marriage mm. I wasn't against the idea I knew that one day I would get married but I think like most guys I was just like yeah, maybe like at the age of 30 ish mm. you know I might be willing to settle down um, but yeah so so I was just kind of going on you know carrying on with my life mm. trying to um, solidify my career what i wanted to do how i was going to go about life yeah. and so on and so forth and um yeah so uh october of 2018 mm. then um uh, one of the ladies in the worship team comes to me and she says listen i've got a friend of mine that wants to meet you mm. i then say now i must be honest guys it 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 is unfortunate you know <laughs> You know when they say you know guys in the church and whatever mm. and they just uh, have a really bad rep you know mm. for not necessarily being the most holy um and mm. i i certainly wasn't you know it and it wasn't a new thing you know being a guy playing in the worship team for somebody to approach you or to step up to you or to you know um so not right. yeah you know not 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 in an arrogant way at all but yeah. because it wasn't just me you know mm -hmm. it was like the guys in the band we we knew that you know somebody's gonna holler you know mm -hmm. at some point and i went on many lunches and many, 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 many nothing happened but mm -hmm. it was just like 
getting to connecting with people and getting to know people, mm. right? Um, so I meet this, so I meet this girl and uh, I, I finish packing my, my keyboard, packing the music equipment and she's standing at the entrance and I walk up to her and I remember seeing this really skinny girl <laughs> who was wearing like a, like a brown and orange and white summer dress. Really? Um, yeah. I was uh, it was, uh, uh, it was one with little thingies It had like different colors but it was like brown oh. orange and white yeah was it the first time that was the first time i saw you oh. i remember what you were wearing and you had braids and you were wearing glasses and I was she, wearing glasses. yes you were wearing <laughs> she she was wearing glasses she had braids she had braces uh, she was skinny, skinny. She, she was, was wearing loud. she was wearing this this um summer dress and she wore these like gladiator sort of sandals right? oh i remember that look yeah i remember and, that look um and and i walked up to her and and she started talking and for me i think i was like i remember thinking you don't even know me yeah, like yeah but she was so energetic and so yeah. full of life and just like yeah ah! like yeah. you know going on um and i remember at the time it was the it was the it was the time of um td jakes's uh mega fest mega fest yeah right yeah. so she then says to me hey man you know mega fest is coming up you know do you want to go we should go we should mm. you know what i mean <laughs> this is kind of the energy are you going Would no, you, I, I think it i had already gone but remember he was here for yeah yeah, yeah. over, yeah, over a, a, a little time. period of yeah. time you know so i was saying to you that i've gone yeah you know maybe you should come with me yeah for sure was i for shooting sure. my shot and I, n no i yeah not really i think you were you were kind of testing the water sizing me up yeah. trying to figure out like you know what yeah. is this guy about because i'll tell you in that time there were a lot of things that didn't impress her about mm. me um and this was the first thing so mm. my wife then um who you know we've just met mm. then invites me out for a drink for lunch for what was it, it was so just, baby, before we go there yeah then i must say there's a there's a part that i wanted to talk about mm. the reason we made five months later okay you know i i remember um because i didn't know anyone that knew you mm. You know, and uh, and I remember I went, guys. You know the importance of just staying in prayer when you are, when God reveals something to you. You know, um, you you have to, to just really stay in prayer. And I remember some of the ladies, um, Buzianda. You know, hi guys. Yeah. We used to go to um home cell together, yeah. and they would say, why don't you go sit in front? You know, so that this guy notices you. Yeah. And I remember saying, no, if it's meant to be, it will be. Do you know what I mean? And um, I bumped into Fifi in the bathroom. So I think I saw you around June. And I would go to church every Sunday and I would see this guy. I still didn't know his name. And I would be like, oh, hey, hubby. You know, <laughs> hey, boo. <Yeah. laughs> you know? And that's when I met Fifi in the bathroom. Got it. And then I said to Fifi, Fifi was one of the ladies who was in the worship team with mm. Larato. And I said to her, you know, there's a certain gentleman in the worship team. Mm. You know, is he seeing someone? Because that was very important to me. Mm. Because my understanding was that if you were in the church and you were seeing someone, then it means that you're going to marry that person. Because remember, I wasn't you brought up in Christian. the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't grow up in the church. Yeah. You know, so for me, I thought, okay, you know, they meet. That's, that's how it works in the church yeah. and apparently that's not how it works. Apparently worked. not, yeah. Apparently not. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So so um so so this very lady Fifi. Yeah. Um uh she comes to me and she says, Hey, there's a friend of mine that would like to meet you. Mm. I'm like, Oh, okay, whatever and then I, I then go and meet her. I've I've just told you that yeah. story. Yeah. I explained what she looked like or whatever. Yeah. And then she says to me, 
hey man, you know, mega face with it, like it's just coming with a lot, you know, mm. that mega face, we should go together. Da, 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 da. And then she says, you know, do you want to go out for, for a drink? Um, mm. You know, uh, for lunch. For lunch. Yeah. And this is why in, in the jingle it goes, um, it was the summer of 2008. She said, I would the couple of to make a date. Yeah. It was, it, because that's what happened, so right? I actually hear and on it you wasn't, but I, I've been saying, okay, but you, so you, so you I did, like, I did hear on you. Right? Um, okay. But remember, so, because now I'm speaking to my husband. Right. So I'm like, right. Abby. Now, <laughs> now, now, I must be honest. I was dishonest. So mm. I was dishonest. Um, I had a girlfriend mm. at the time. And as much as, as much as my going out for a drink or for lunch with this lady mm. um, that I had just met, which is who is my wife right now, um, there wasn't necessarily ill intent. You know, I didn't mm. necessarily see myself like dating her or whatever. It was kind of like, ah, free meal, go, let's, you know wow. what I mean? And let's, and you know, I get to go out and hang out with people or whatever because I'm, you know, just yeah. like that. But I was dishonest in that um, I hadn't. I hadn't shared with my girlfriend that, hey man, mm. you know, I'm I'm going to be going out for lunch, you know, with somebody that I just met from yeah. church or whatever. And it was very boom, boom, boom. You know, I didn't have any plans for the afternoon. So I was mm. like, ah, what harm could it do? Right. Um, I know now that it, it did a lot of harm. And um, I think, sorry if I may jump in, I think what yeah. was tricky and that's where the controversy comes in was mm. that I actually knew... Right. Lady. So let me tell that story. Yeah, so yeah. So after church, it goes this. No, baby, remember. Coca-Cola. Remember, you said, um, "Do you know so and so?" Yes. Right. Yeah. So 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 I remember. I think because you told me what school you went yes. to. Yes. And then I was like, "Oh snap!" Because so, my girlfriend went to the same school. Exactly. University. Yes. And we're oh, all from varsity, Pretoria. Yeah. And you said, um, "Was it the day we met?" I think, I think, I think, no, I think, no, we, no baby. it was think like we, the we week after met, that or two weeks we after met, that. And then like two weeks after that, two that's weeks when after the invitation that. came that's out. Right. That's then, right. And then, and then, you know, you said to me, so do you know so-and-so, you know, and I'm like, yeah, I know so-and-so. And I you didn't know? go on to say, yeah, we, oh, she happens to be my girlfriend. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, so, so I take full responsibility for that. Mm. I was, I was very dishonest and there was, and as a result, there was a lot of misunderstanding as to as to what happened mm. really around that time. Mm. Um, so uh, so I didn't I didn't say to my girlfriend that, hey, I had just met this person. Mm. Um, I also didn't have any intentions with this person as much as, you so know, you didn't, I, like, you didn't think I was cute. You were intriguing. Not you you were definitely you one of the things that I really enjoyed about um, my growing attraction with my wife mm -hmm. was unlike most of my relationships in the past had been I, I had had a physical attraction okay my attraction to my wife was a very spiritual one mm. and and that's when I felt like whoa this is different like mm. I haven't experienced this before but but we'll get to when that happens yeah. right yeah so I'm just honest with my girlfriend and I'm invited out to lunch. I don't let my girlfriend know that I was invited out for lunch. Mm. I get to my place and my girlfriend is there. Mm. She says to me, hey man, <laughs> uh, we're going to Pretoria. There's a bride happening. I'm like, yes, ma'am. Right? Now, now, her and Fifi are waiting for me because they've invited me out to lunch and i said yes hey, now i'm nice. driving to pretoria no jokes because it's not a joke because it's not funny mm. but this is really what happens right yeah i've got my phone it's lodged between my legs mm. you know on the car seat i'm driving she's calling mm. my girlfriend is in the passenger seat i'm not answering the phone mm. because I haven't declared that, hey man, mm -hmm. I was invited out to lunch. But now because this mumish, mm -hmm. no, I mean, it, anyway, it happened the way it was supposed to, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So then my wife calls my girlfriend at the time to mm -hmm. say, hey, I met this amazing guy, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Now she's talking on the phone, but I don't know that 
she's speaking to my girlfriend. So I'm driving. I swear, I'm going, mm. It's like an episode mm. of Mm. Then eventually in the conversation I hear her say You know he's my boyfriend right? And I was like the, Guys there's no way I could yeah. have ever Scripted. imagined that it was her on the phone You yeah. know um, She was talking about me mm. I met this amazing guy blah 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 His name's Lerato My girlfriend's like no That's kind of my boyfriend you and know? I almost said, but that's my husband. But that's my husband, yeah, you know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, so 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 that happens. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um fast forward a couple of days, weeks, I I, I really I'm not I'm not entirely sure, but mm. um conversation continues to happen over Gmail chat. Before that, okay. remember the message that I left you? Yeah, so my wife sends me a voice message. I don't the, know. The, 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 day, the, day, the day he stood us up. The day I stood her up, yeah. I'm like, why is it so weird? And guys, mind you, I've only known, I don't even know yeah. this guy. But, but like, baby, oh, the way it was so weird, guys. Like, I was talking to you like you were my husband yeah. already, yeah. you know? And I think from my side, you know, in hindsight, the one thing that I didn't do and um, that I'm at, that I'm I, it was a huge uh, blind uh, blind spot I didn't tell his girlfriend that um, you know that I knew you and you know we were gonna go on this date and whatever and that eventually we started talking so I think that that was a bit clumsy yeah you know yeah it, it was because there was you know afterwards mm. there was there was a bit of tension between mm. me and and the lady mm. and it was just not nice you yeah. Know? yeah 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 um and yeah and it just it just starts with with just one person being dishonest mm. you know um and and i'm not proud of that yeah um so so um eventually you know i think what started happening and by the way mm. because because we weren't necessarily uh, i wasn't necessarily pursuing a romantic relationship mm. uh with my wife there was something about her that and I always and I always say this to people that I think I think she was the she was the only person she was the first person in my life that I felt like spoke to the God in me, mm -hmm. and she really challenged. She, she really challenged my spirit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, um, she she would ask me very direct, pointed questions mm. that i knew i needed to answer for myself not yeah. because i needed to prove anything to her or to anybody else but she would challenge me on my walk with christ mm. she would challenge me on on my relationship not because she had an agenda but more because she wanted to to be clear that i was in it for the right reasons mm. you know mm. um and I, i'm i'm fully convinced that she she would have been willing to leave it at that yeah you know yeah to say if no, i had, if i had said to her no look uh, you know i'm not you know but mm. mind you she wasn't mm. pursuing me like romantically mm. that's the other fundamental difference mm. um she she just pursued a friendship i think no i think so what happened was when we started chatting on gmail i remember i i posed a question to you yeah and i said to you um you know i you're in a relationship have you sought god about it the words have you sought the lord yeah. <laughs> about this relationship yeah. and what what is your plan mm. you know what is your vision is, is your intention to marry exactly this woman? I, and i mean you guys know? for me i just thought you know people in the church dated to marry to marry yeah so i yeah. don't think like people would date just to yeah and so time, yeah and know? so and so and so as she's asking me these very pointed questions mm. I'm, I'm starting to get convicted mm. um not not confused mm. as a matter of fact i was getting a lot more clarity 
Chill. you know about where i was and mm. it then became apparent to me that maybe i'm in this relationship for the wrong reasons mm. maybe i i my intention is not to protect this woman's heart mm. maybe my intention is actually not to marry her maybe mm. my intention you know what i mean and and these are things that start to be revealed to me and i'm like mm. i i get so convicted i break up with her Right mm. I'm like you know what actually now you can imagine how this looks mm. right because mm. it looks like my wife then swooped in like is kisha pilo motho guys you know what I'm saying yeah. like and and it doesn't as I, I, I suppose I suppose it was one of those things that I I almost needed to be okay with like mm. if that was the because the, you can't explain this away you know what i mean mm. it, it it just especially because then we ultimately ended up in a romantic relationship mm. and then we got married mm. you know what i mean mm. so so i suppose um the 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 underlying thing is i shouldn't have been dishonest right from the yeah. beginning and i i feel horrible about it like mm. till this day um just because i don't want it to be a a um a stain mm. you know what i mean on on what we have today gotcha. um but yeah so so that's that so that's that, yeah. right yeah. that happens right So then we start talking on email. Yeah. What were we I, I actually can't remember. There was nothing we didn't speak about. We spoke about everything. We spoke about everything. And at the time um when was it confirmed to you because and guys something else that I never told you that God told me. Okay, I'm not going to dispute it because I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I never I never told you. Yeah. You know because I just feel like that's sort of blackmail. You know, you can't go to someone and say God told me that yeah. my husband. Well, also because I wouldn't you know believe I mean? you. I'd be so, like So <laughs> So for me, I kept it like I t- everyone around me knew, yeah. but I never told him that yeah. God told me that he was my husband. Yeah. And I think we met around we started talking around November. Mm. And then December, January February we made plans for you to go meet my parents. Yeah. This was what 3 months into the yeah. the courtship. And let me tell you and let me tell you why mm. um I was comfortable to do that. Mm. So I very quickly got to I think I think in that 3 months or so mm-hmm. my wife had so blown me away. Sure. I I had given up on the idea that she existed that wow. that this sure. woman was real sure. because i had a list just like every other guy mm. actually we don't talk about our lists but we do have lists mm. they're probably like written in our hearts but you know we all have lists mm. and i had given up on the idea that she existed and so um when when she became real Mm. I remember asking myself the question and I, I I don't know why I asked myself I think it was God that did it but yeah. I was like yo would you be willing to risk not spending the rest of your life with this woman sure. and mind you I was 22 sure. you know yeah. and I was like and no I'm not willing to yeah. not spend the rest of my life with this woman and so it was I was very clear mm. I was very clear that this is the kind of partner that i need oh, if yeah. if i'm going to be spending the rest of my life with anyone so sure. and i and i knew that i would never find it again wow i, I just sure. i knew it yeah and and you know they funny you should say that cuz you know when i found out that you were 22 i remember going back to god and i was like how can this be my husband because for me i didn't know of any 22 year olds mm. that were getting married yeah you know so so yeah but you know god confirmed so many things mm. after that and um, i did say to lerato you know and i think him saying that was he willing to live the rest of his life without me was because i had said to him remember i said to you that i'm not prepared to date for 5 10 years you know i was just like 
especially when we started talking about when things things started getting serious very quickly mm -hmm. i mean i met your family um you met mine in feb i met your family in march mm -hmm. you know and of you, the next year yeah you know mm -hmm. like three months 2009, later yeah. 2009 we met november 2008 mm -hmm. and you said to your family this is the woman that i was gonna marry you know well i and and so 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 Sorry, before baby, i introduced how was it confirmed to you Did you just know it wasn't well? a, it, it wasn't it wasn't one moment i don't think mm. there were a couple of moments mm. so let me share the couple of moments with you mm. i took my <laughs> wife out on a date mm. and um i went and dropped her at her place mm. and she said at the end of the night she went i had a great time thanks good night <laughs> and she got out the car closed the door <laughs> Walked up the stairs, got into her apartment, yeah. closed, lights out. I was like, I'm going to marry that one. Aww. I was like, w this does not exist. Sure. It doesn't. People are are constantly trying to, trying to um, negotiate with themselves. Mm. Like they negotiate with their convictions. They negotiate with, with their values. Mm. And she was non-negotiable. She mm. was just like, I'm very clear about who I am. I'm mm. very clear about how I feel about you, yeah. Nrato, but I'm even more clear about how I feel about Jesus. Mm. And there's no way that I'm going to allow the you factor sure. to stand in between my relationship with Jesus. Mm. And that gave me a lot of security sure. in her and wow. like the kind of woman she was. So I was like, Mm. I hadn't seen that. I, I, people kind of try to display it, but mm. then after a couple of months, you see that mm, sure. it was an act. With her, the the other shoe never fell. It didn't. It didn't. She was just sure. clear, and she stayed on it. Um, mm. You know, so so it was moments like that. Yeah. You know, that I was just like, mm, mm. Sure. she's a she's a real one. Sure, you know? I, 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 for me. <laughs> I, I've had this, you know, people have asked me this question before mm. and they've asked me, so what what does it sound like when God tells you? Yeah. You know, it's just a big booming voice, you know. And for me it it wasn't a big booming voice, but apparently some people hear mm. like God's An voice, audible like audible, voice. you know. Yeah. For me it was just a knowing in my spirit. And um like you said, you know, but still after that I still went to god in prayer and there was there was confirmation because i too had a list do you know what i mean i had a list of what i wanted in a man and for me a man that loved christ was a non-negotiable you know because i knew that a man that loved god would love me right mm. you know he would just know how to love me because mm. you know and i wanted a man who loved god more than he loved me mm. Do you know what I mean? So that was a non-negotiable. And when I met him, you know, that was so evident. You know, it was it was really evident that he was, you know, a guy that loved God. I mean, Lerato grew up in the church. You know, he was a missionary at the age of 17. He was an Asha in primary school. Mm -hmm. You know, so for me, I was like... And he played in the worship team. Played in the worship yeah, team. Yeah. And when we started speaking, you know... um. You also challenged me, babe. Well, you that's, know? you know, this is the interesting thing. Yeah. So my wife saw all of this in me, but I didn't see it in myself at the time. Mm. And this was the catalyst. Mm. This was the thing that made me go, oh, because mm. I, I think, and this is why I use the expression. I feel, I felt like she spoke to the God in me, sure. you know, because I think it's very important that. I think it's very possible that relationship it's funny mm -hmm. because i was shooting a show today and we we're discussing relationship right yeah and what the purpose and power of relationship is mm -hmm. i definitely think that relationship is supposed to awaken something in you that you don't necessarily yeah. know is there mm -hmm. and she was she was i felt like she saw me sure. not based on my not based on on acts mm -hmm. not based on what I, but she saw beneath mm. the shell, beneath the surface. She was like, no, 
this guy, when he speaks, I can actually see his heart and mm. I can actually see where he's at about this. I can actually see how he really feels mm. about God. He might not be aware of, of, of where he is. He might not, you know, know the depth of, you know, he might mm. be a little bit lost. He could be a little bit estranged, but I still see him. Mm. And for me, again, it's that thing where I'm like, ah, how, how could you not? Yeah. How, how could you not? gravitate to that and say mm. you know what i need this because it because mm. life ebbs and flows we talk about it all the time you know yeah. but are you in the kind of relationship that will be able to to redirect you recalibrate mm. you know push the reset mm. button and and for you to know that look not all is lost you still yeah. you know and this person is going to point you where you know you need to go which yeah. is towards christ for us in our relationship and i think babe you know as as young as you were 22 mm. i you were you were so mature beyond your years mm. i mean even now you are do you know what sometimes. i mean sometimes no most of the time <laughs> you know yeah and and it was your it was your quiet strength for me mm. As, as much as no, no, I look papaya and I like. Sure. No, no. I don't make a very polo. No, no, no. Tar- how can you how can you drive a polo? No, no, no tarot well, and, yeah. and I mean, I remember <laughs> the one day after like God had confirmed to me that this guy's my husband, and then he comes rolling into church and he's got like his one arm like outside the window. I was like, Lord, sure. are you sure? <laughs> Are, are you sure that that is my husband? You know, yeah, that can't possibly be my. Husband. You know, because I was just yeah. like, mm, you know, like we said in the previous episodes, like you know, installments, like I'm not impressionable at yeah. all. You know, so when I saw that, I was like, uh, I can show. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So 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 we met each other's families. Yeah. And um, it was easy. It was I don't, easy, yeah. 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 You know, my family loved you. Yeah. Your family loved me. Yeah. You know, wanted to get married. We didn't know what we were doing. Mm. You know, uh, there were there were definitely a lot of things we we needed to work out. I think mm. I think our hearts were in the right place. Yeah. We went through eighteen months of of premarital counseling at three different churches. You know, because mm. we wanted to be ready, ready. Mm. There's no such thing as being ready, ready. Yeah. But you know, we yeah. did we did what we could and and we led with our hearts and we mm. led with love and we had a beautiful wedding. Yeah. You know, um, two years later. So um, we, so sorry, babe. So we got engaged. Um, November of 2009, 2009 which was pretty much a year, a year later, later after we met and then the year we got after that, married September, September of 2010, 2010. Right after so the it was World exactly Cup. two years and I had said to God God two years yeah do you yeah. know what I mean yeah so yeah. so so I love how you know this this our, our love story I, I truly believe that it was written you know by God mm. himself and I think even now you know like sometimes even you know after we got married and we went through you know challenges and like any other couple I always I was always reminded that God didn't make a mistake mm. you know that God gave me this husband yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean yeah. and, and that yeah. was so reassuring for me that I know that you know, whatever storms we were facing, that I didn't make a mistake because yeah. it was it was just it was written in the heavens. Mm. You know? Mm. So And that is how we how really, we really met. met. I'm um, really glad I met you, baby. Yeah, I'm glad I met you. Yeah. I'm glad I met you. It's yeah. this is this is the single greatest thing that has ever happened in my life. Oh, you know, babe. yeah, and I've had a lot of great things happen, oh. but but this is definitely the best thing. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And you're the best um, thing that happened to me. I love you. I love you. So um, <laughs> yeah, guys, that's how we that's met. That's how we met. And uh, and now twelve years later, two children later. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it's just been re- and I'm, uh, it's been a journey filled with grace god's mercy god's love you know like we are where we are today because i'm getting emotional that is so weird (laughs) 
Uh, why am I getting emotional? <laughs> it's doing so well. So, I think I'm getting emotional because God has really carried us, you know. Um, you know, we always talk about how um, I think we're one couple that's not going to sit here and pretend like our lives are perfect and mm. marriage is perfect, you mm. know. But we serve a God who is perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, I think even the, the storms that we have weathered. It's the way, isn't it? Um, I can't believe I got emotional. Um, the storms that we've weathered, it's really because of God's grace. You know, a lot of people ask us, so how do you do it? You know, how have you managed to stay together for 12 years and married for 10 guys it is the grace of god yes you know we 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 are intentional about working on our relationship we're intentional about choosing each other every day we're intentional about out loving each other you know but god has really carried us you know we 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 pray you know we pray for our marriage we pray for each other we you know god has just really been at the center and um i'm just so grateful so blessed <laughs> this one i didn't really i didn't think i was gonna get so emotional what's <laughs> on my tissue but home so i must leave the, leave the frame <laughs> guys thank you so much uh for joining us yeah um thank you for the love i think i think again going back to our first episode this this channel is really just about a celebration of our yeah. love um of god's grace mm. of um yeah just just the the incredible the incredible journey that this has been yeah. um, and really having you guys just be a, a part of it and us being able to continue to share our story is nothing but a blessing yeah so thank you to all of you thank you we thank you, you so much we love you I we love you. appreciate you i love you and i'm still like emotional i'm gonna get you a tissue now <laughs> just we're saying goodbye oh man we're saying goodbye let's 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 say bye <laughs> all right guys uh please remember to like subscribe share. turn on your notifications yeah share and we love your comments. Mm. We love your comments. We're not going to give shout outs today, but always know that you are always in our hearts. We yeah. think about you guys. Uh, we pray for you. Yeah. We love you. And um, yeah, let's just continue. I think the only shout out that mm. I would want to give today is really to our family mm. and to our friends. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. we've just had an army of amazing people that have rallied around us that mm. have prayed for us that have held us up yeah. you know you know who you are you know family our parents mm. our sister our siblings you mm. know our friends we love you so much and we appreciate your presence in our lives this is life is but a dream with the max Goodbye. Jesus. love you peace